You better get ready, hold on. Seems to be the kids are getting stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again. Cost of little name, time out age. Yeah, I know we do out there every video. You're saying that I know. Yo. Let's. This motherfucker say, will his girlfriend cheat and scam older guys out of their money? If you're sure you're doing that, then you need to leave, my guy. That's tough. another episode on Jack TV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this girl named Gloria was scamming him out of his money. He explained to me that he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera and after he sent that money, she blocked him on everything. I sent her money through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She, I, she blocked my social media accounts from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Snap, so as soon as, you the, as soon as you sent the money, she, you just lost all communication with her? Uh, everything fell apart. Man, I saw pictures of that bitch, man. She was fucking hot, but I'd never seen her in a person, man. It's some fucking bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. You tell bro had some type of issue. I ain't even talking about that type of issue. I'm talking about a personal issue. You know what I'm saying? If you get the drift. And god damn man, we were on the phone, we were chatting and everything, and as soon as I all as soon as I finished my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. After time passing by and Ricky said Good buddy sound, he got a speech impediment. Sitting there actually thinking about what took place, it sent him in a depression, which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend were scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out Gloria's boyfriend information and ended up reaching out. He actually had no knowledge of this at all. So Ricky, this is who you were talking to? This is Josh, he's behind you? What's up, bro? So I met that bitch at the strip club, dude. Hey, hey, Ricky, man. Hey, Ricky, be man. respectful, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful, talk to him right next to girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Facts. I wish a nigga would tell me, hey, we your bitch. Hey, nigga. I'll punch him. There wouldn't even be no talk. I would just deck this ass. Cause, like, why is it cool? I'm gonna show you a bitch. I'm surprised bro ain't pop his ass. But I see he wanna be on some cool shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay, yes. Yes. I mean, where where you meet her, bro? I met that girl at the strip club, man. She I mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is, but I mean, I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's Locked her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts, and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages, and he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this Ricky dude, he, he reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl, and I was like, I ain't really paid no mind, bro. Like, this kind of weird. This Ricky dude, he, he hit me up, talking about all my girl, spending my money, this and that, all that kind of stuff. I ain't, I ain't really listen to him at first, but he just kept hitting my line, hitting my line, hitting my line. So I, I, I mean, I'm and I just her money through Cash Up, PayPal, and Venmo. Man, she's a fraud, but you waste your time, bro. Because I am bankrupt, I am broke. I gave all that all my fucking money, man. And she took all of it. She hung me dry. Yeah, I'm gonna 
Now it's your old problem. I say you problem. You sent it to me. So, who fault is it? She just played her cards right. And somehow, Minister gave your whole fucking paycheck. I'm homeless. I have no job. I have no fucking car or nothing. Fucking bitch. Stupid little park crash little fucking car. You ain't never called or talked to on the phone, heard of what's none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you study sending up money? Come on, bro. That's your answer right there. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Straight up, man. The whole ordeal is kind of weird to me. So when he uh, brought up the strip club, y'all kind of looked at each other. Why? Why? It's more of a I told you so thing, but it's not my place to say that, but... Like I said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks, shaking ass, or uh, you recruit. Somebody, something got to be explained. The money popping up randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No answers. Yeah. Answers. Very true, very true. I mean, that's that's what it is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, you met her in the strip club too? Yeah, yeah, no, she was a bottle girl out there. I went, I went out there with some of my homeboys. You would never catch me begging a shorty that's in the club. No. Girls in the club already got niggas at home. They just trying to play you. One boy right there getting played too. You know what I'm saying? She using him for all his money. This shit is crazy. Both of them being played the same way. And we out there having a good time, and she was one coming to our table and shit. And I got a number from there. We start talking, and we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all the information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like yeah, she, she, so she pop, she popping up with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes. Always asking me for this and that, like it's really starting to make sense now. Like, really, like I'm, like I said, bro, I'm in, I'm in the strip club, bro. She was a body girl out there. Me, and my homeboy went out for some fun. She been giving us our drinks all night, all night. Really been going strong for like two years. That's what she did. Like really been trying to take care of this girl, bro. I really dropped everyone for her, everything. Like damn, bro. Maybe I should do shit. So today we had our decoy Gabriel actually reach out to her through the Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. Oh. She don't know that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay. Okay, so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and go upstairs, get everything situated and hopefully you get your answers, bro. Bro. Rent out this beautiful Airbnb, pretending that Gabriel stays here, using this house as a way to showcase Gabriel's wealth. Gabriel actually been talking to Gloria for about a week now, and they decided to go ahead and meet up for dinner. What Gloria don't know is that his house is literally right across the street from where they'll be eating. This was all planned out perfectly, so when Gabriel mentioned he stayed literally across the street, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her to just walk across. So Josh, Glow is on her way here. Um, Gary was about to make his way to the restaurant so he can meet her there. Is there anything you don't want him to do while he's conducting the test? I mean, I really, this is all kind of a shock to me. I really just kind of want to see where her head space at. And really, he can kind of do whatever I want to see what she's up to. Okay. So that's, that's really it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get you down there. Um, you already mic'd up. So basically, everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jack about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get as much money as I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, like, how much you send her? Man, I got a check every month. I give her the whole check. How much is a check? I don't want to share that information. That's, that's, that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. 
Yeah. All right, so Josh, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, go down to the command center and we can watch everything that's going on. All right, baby. We tried setting up a command center for today's test, but because of the area, we were only limited to listening through the mics. Cameras were set up in the house just in case Gamer was able to get her to come over. And this loyalty test is officially about to begin. Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos, bro, I be thinking... Fresh as an answer. Tell me about Dubai. I want to hear about it. I ain't never been. So, you yeah, went by yourself? Yes, it was my first solo trip, and I think it was more so like... It was like a getaway. This is my first business that did really well. I had a hair company, and it did really well. And then at that same time, it was getting hard for me to manage everything by myself. Just with the shipping, the vendor, the marketing, just everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had went through like a bad breakup, a bad friendship. So like, I it was like literally like a getaway. Like I needed to get away for a mental, just everything recharge. And I went and I don't know, I, was, I wasn't scared. Like I'm not scared. I've been on my trip. I just did my third, um, solo trip actually i did a tri trip but going back to dubai mm -hmm. um when i went i did research on it i did um hire a driver and i did like a little tour my first day so i could kind of get a feel of where yeah. everything was just the idea yeah. i did the desert safari i went and did the oh, you did the whole I did the you whole did the whole thing. damn thing I was like, okay I'm gonna, do I'm gonna do it i'm gonna do everything so you did, did all of that solo i did all of this solo Wow, yeah. that's brave. I, I, I admire that. That's awesome. Then my third was just a tri city. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico for one day. I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. Yeah. And then I flew to Washington, D.C. because I had never been to Washington. I flew there. Wow, you've been all over the place. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, and that's why all this is, you know, Fitting because I do like nice things and I do like you know I'm not just like eh, yeah I like ahead. nice things. I mean you know I am single and it's crazy because I am really actually single. Um, single, single, or I'm 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 single, single. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm mm -hmm. single. I am. Single. Okay, you, yeah, single? you started with that. I'm single as fuck. Single <laughs> so, as fuck. Yeah, I'm single yeah, as fuck. I'm single. I ain't yeah. seeing nobody. Um, what you want to do? I got some 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 ideas of what we could do. If you're down for it? Down. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you want oh, to really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You wanna you wanna go I check would. it out with me? I would. All right. Let's get out of here. Right. Let's go. Smooth and easy. He ain't even had to do nothing. He just had to be yourself. You don't live far, so maybe we can hang out at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Lo agreed to come over to our decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We were gonna let this test go on, but since we are all the way on the fourth floor of this townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on, and we also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. Dude, there's another level up there. Okay. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what, though? We can take the elevator. An elevator? Yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. It's cutting in and out. It's being choppy. What we doing? Mic signals from every camera are all bad. Maybe a, there's a satellite in the area that's messing with everything. But if we can go in now, we can because she didn't already showed us that she failed. Yeah, been here. Hand on the waist is crazy. I know, I know, good buddy. Shitting in his pants right now. <laughs> Hand on the waist is crazy. About a year, and I like it. I like it so far. So. Oh, yeah. oh I've never been in a house. Give you the grand tour. Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this is so wild. I know, this is beautiful. Like, yeah. This is really nice. 
Yeah, I like it here. It's real quiet. I see that. You should come be here with me. You know? yeah, yeah, this is very nice. I, I feel like I can vibe here. It seems like it would be very tranquil. This is all you. This is, it looks like something you should be in. Oh, really? Yeah. Something I should be in with you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I want you to be in it with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. This is crazy, bro. I feel bad for dude who got all his money took his whole check. He said he was homeless, this and that. Mm -hmm. Women out here, man. It's crazy. According to Josh, he's seen enough to actually go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of this loyalty test, and she completely failed, denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. No, bro. I, I done seen enough, bro. Like, she, she already said the phase. Church and shit, bro. Like, let's just go, bro. As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him and using him for his money. We're gonna push down. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the way you roll. I like the way you roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fat little fucking bitch. Wait till I get my goddamn fucking hands on you, bitch. They said wizardry only appears in fairy tales. But when you arrange some mystical looking words in a certain order, you took all my the money, you trail bark trash bark. Hey, bro, you run for the bitch. Hey, bro, no, you better go, man. You better go, man. You better go, man. You better go, man. Good buddy needs to calm his little ass down. Oh, bro. You just had to be the actual. Hey, 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 Everything in the book, he was just blurting out everything. Oh, and dude, who good girl it was, he wasn't even really defending, no one even saying nothing to the nigga. Like, hey, you calling my girl this, calling her that, and you, you, I ain't gonna lie, she took your money, but hold that down, bro. You got some answers for me? Huh? You don't know? Oh, now, now all of a sudden you don't know. I don't even know who that is. So Ricky basically reached out to me saying that he was messing with you through text messages he never seen you in real life and he sent you a lot of money and you ended up ghosting him on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know you. I don't know you. I'm gonna find you. I, I, I bet you. you I bet you feel dumb now. Yeah. What would you catch me doing though? Hmm? What am I doing? What do you mean? What you doing? You out here entertaining? Them? You was just on a whole date. I know all day. You got sending you money. What you mean, bro? Why? Why, why are we doing this? What? Hmm? Why, why don't you answer that for me? Uh, did, did you not accept any money from him? I don't know. At all. I don't know. Hey, you don't. Shut the f up. You, you, you shut the f up. Nice, bro. You shut the f up. Like, you call lying. Lie how? How? You Where's a lying sack of shit. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? I've seen it. Seen it. You a lying sack of shit. The screenshots is everything that y'all talked about, all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready to leave. Bitch, you owe me my f***ing money. I'm gonna get you, bitch. Are you, are you gonna go to the cemetery. Your money, bro. You wanna go to a short trail, <laughs> barn trash, you know what? I didn't wanna say that first, but good buddy speed, boy. You speak. He's a speckle. Everybody is a spider. <laughs> Nigga ran her out the crib <laughs> with verbal words tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna never see you in the grave, bitch. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, shut your old motherfucking Rocky, Rocky Balboa from. Motherfucking Dollar Tree looking there. Yeah.
I had a long nerve breastfed you milk or nothing, Shit. bitch. Yeah. You ain't gonna be fed or nothing. Suck my dick, you sucking bitch. Bye. Yeah, bye, bitch. Bye. Bye. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. See you later, bitch alligator. <laughs> you got the guts of the nurse to come up to right back again. How you feeling, though? Bro, I, I, I just upset, bro. Like, that stupid bitch. She coming years, back up bro. again. Like, that's some bullshit. Problems been pushing like, down I, the I, when I'm sitting here trying to work my ass out, bro, I work two jobs, bro. Like two I'm jobs. I'm bankrupt, dude. I be spoiling this girl, bro. Like giving her everything she want. And she gonna sit here and still entertain other niggas on the side, bro. Like it, it's fucked up, bro. Man. And I really I feel stupid because I had I had people sitting here telling me this and that about you and I was like, nah, 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 nah. She, she made me out of a like, jackass, bro. man. Like this is really Where's that bitch? Go on, little Trail bar tries, bitch. Shit, I guess just get bro. You, I don't. Bro, I just got beef with her. It's not over, it's not over. Shit. Stupid bitch. Until next time. Yeah, this test was crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, jack off. I could have sworn I brought my boot right in. That shit might be in my closet somewhere or something. She got a nigga high as fuck. I just noticed something. I barely hit the cart in this video. But that's only because I'm high.
did. <coughs> I definitely did leave it in the car. I don't think I said the outro. <coughs> I don't think I said the outro. Kiss again, kiss again, stand up. Yes, yeah, sir, yes, yeah, sir. Gang, close the window and then talk about agent. Yeah, I know we do out there every day. The same night. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I do a better ghost than me. You see this feet? He presses his button and it turns on. Mary, it's that blue as ice. She was an ass. Yeah, I see how my my computer cut off when that goose was perfect. Yeah, I've seen a little snippet of it before my computer cut off. Now we got a lot more things. 